15 years of terror across Northern California, a relentless predator finally unmasked by the intricate threads of a family tree. This is a deep dive into a landmark case. Welcome to the AI criminologist. From 1991 to 2006, a chilling pattern emerged across six Northern California counties. The offender, later dubbed the Norkel Rapist, executed precise night entries, overpowering victims and ransacking homes. His methodical approach included forced ATM withdrawals and abductions, revealing a calculated criminal mind. Detectives meticulously mapped locations and timelines, identifying a distinct commuter pattern along the Bay Area Sacramento axis. This critical crime analysis highlighted the offender's operational footprint. Despite crime scene DNA confirming a single perpetrator, CODIS yielded no direct match. This impasse necessitated a pivot in 2018. Investigators leveraged forensic genetic genealogy, building an SNP profile to search public databases for distant relatives. Skilled genealogists then meticulously constructed family trees, triangulating maternal and paternal lines to pinpoint a single branch. This precise forensic work, combined with traditional investigative methods, narrowed the suspect pool. Filtering by age, residence and commute, a name emerged, Roy Charles Waller of Benicia. Waller, a UC Berkeley safety specialist, was apprehended based on this genealogical lead. Subsequent lab comparisons definitively linked his DNA to multiple crime scenes, transforming a lead into irrefutable evidence. In 2020, a jury heard compelling DNA statistics, detailed timelines, and harrowing victim testimony. Waller was convicted on 46 counts involving nine victims, receiving an 8 and 97 year to life sentence. This case underscores how genetic genealogy, by finding relatives first, allows traditional police work to narrow the focus. It's a powerful method, not magic, accelerating investigations while demanding rigorous corroboration. While genetic genealogy raises vital privacy debates, most agencies mandate strict review and confirmatory testing. This case exemplifies the synergy between advanced forensic science, meticulous crime analysis, and dedicated law enforcement. It highlights how pattern recognition and DNA technology are reshaping justice. For more in-depth analyses where science meets justice, subscribe to the AI Criminologist. Engage with us in the comments below. What ethical considerations do you see in the expanding use of forensic genealogy?